The future of our traditional dealership model is at a tipping point. We can no longer afford to think that technology is our salvation or, or that technology is our sales process. We must be smarter, innovate, evolve, and tie technology to our critical processes. It's time to make a choice, either be proactive and evolve or potentially become extinct. Customers purchasing vehicles today have different desires and expectations than those that have passed. Loyalty of, of our product is diminishing with fewer people differentiating between brands. Today, more than ever, growth and profitability must be strategic and intentional. Out of the box thinking from leadership is non-negotiable in order to continue to feed the beast and fuel our future. The disruptions and competition that we're facing and experiencing from outside sources like Carvana, TrueCar, and potentially Walmart, Amazon, and other venture capital companies is unlike anything that we've ever seen before. It's critical to maintain profitability in our current business model while formulating plans for the future. I believe there's two key areas leaders in the dealership must focus on right now to remain relevant and gain market share. The first key area is we need to feed the beast. The beast is hungry. We got bills to pay right now. Look, while we have our sights on the future, it's vital to continue to capitalize on every opportunity that we currently have. And these are the specific steps to implement and focus on now to grow the business today and support future plans. Number one, we need to speed up the velocity of the car deal. Look, it takes too long to buy a car. Number one thing people hate about buying cars is, is, is how long it takes. They think, why is it got to take three or four or five hours to buy a car? We need to speed that velocity of the deal up. It needs to get to an hour and a half, two hours max at delivery if we're going to remain relevant. Number two, we need to manage the customer's trade cycle more effectively. What does that mean? Number one, we have to be able to deliver an exceptional experience every time so they want to keep coming back to us. We need to make sure when we sell the car, the terms are right, meaning we have good lease penetrations, shorter term, and money down, so we can trade that customer out of the car every two or three years. Number three, we need to learn to inject technology into our current sales process. Too many of us are running our sales process the same as we did 20, 30, 40 years ago without injecting technology in. Look, you have CRMs, you got great apps, let's use them because it will help speed the velocity to deal up and make it a smoother transaction. And then lastly, we need to look at our pay plans for our salespeople. Does your pay plan reward salespeople for that second, third, and fourth car deal? Most of our pay plans are still similar to what they were in the 70s when some old dead manager came up with them. We're paying a percentage of the front end gross and there's no bogey. There's nothing additional for the second, third, fourth, fifth car. We need out of the box thinking on salespeople's pay plans. Now the second key area to remain relevant is we have to be able to fuel the future. We know that, that there will be changes, man, and now's the time to plan and prepare. It's not like we don't know these things are coming. Now I know change, it isn't gonna be easy, and it's tough to deal with, but it's gonna require a new mindset from many of us. Developing a clear vision today, creating specific plans, and leading and managing our teams will be the difference between massive long-term success or future failure. So what do we need to look at? One, we gotta look at click and buys. You know, the customer buying completely online, never showing up at your dealership. Is that gonna be reality in the future? Heck, it's reality right now in some markets, but don't just make change for change's sake. Don't just play follow the leader if your team, if your market, if your customer base isn't ready for it. Otherwise, it just becomes another expense that is gonna take away from your profitability in the dealership. Number two, we gotta look at relentless client retention versus just random customer conquest. You know, some of us are still more focused on pulling that guy from 60 miles away in so we can sell a car for an $800 loss. I mean, we've got customer base with tens of thousands of people in there. It costs a hell of a lot less to retain a customer than it does to go out and try to conquest a new one. What are you spending to retain your people versus what you spend to conquest somebody new? 
Third, we gotta look at concierge service for our service department. A dealership with no walls in service. You wanna have great customer retention, offer customer service where they never have to come to the dealership. Look, they all hate sitting in that little room we have for service waiters, drinking stale coffee, watching reruns of headline news. Man, put together an aggressive concierge service and you will see your retention skyrocket. And lastly, we gotta look at doing more with less. The old mindset of hire and masses, train them in classes, and fire their asses is a thing of the past. We need to develop and retain top producers. It's not about having 10 guys selling eight to 10 cars a month anymore. I want 10 guys selling 20, 25 cars a month. Is it gonna happen on its own? No, we need to train them, we gotta develop them, and we have to have a pay plan that rewards them for being there long term and retaining customers selling that second, third, and fourth car. Bottom line, guys, feeding the beast is critical to fund and achieve your vision and goals for the dealership of the future. Don't let perfection be the enemy of progress. The time to take action to fuel your future and feed the beast is now.